guys, MMM Bolt here. Uh, decided to get me some squid grips. Um, I like many. Then to then decide to wait for the one version. Went ahead and went and bought some of the, the 361s. Um, the controllers are so similar that I've seen a lot of good pictures. I haven't seen anybody post up about what they've done. Um, you have to do some slight modifications. Uh, so I would keep some scissors around, but I did this right side so you can kind of see how it looks so far and then I'll walk through uh, doing the left side. Um, I also did it on my, I got a new controller, it was a Mod Junkies controller. Uh, you can kind of see right there that I had to, it's starting to come up a little bit, you just kind of push it down and I haven't actually played with them yet so I think once I play with them more it'll stick. But uh, you can kind of see with this Mod Junkies I got the Dynamappers. Um, so you got the two buttons on the back and then I've got the LED to uh, switch between so I haven't quite seen if I'm going to have to work around that but uh, let's go ahead and put these on. So this is what I use to cut with. It's a uh, Gerber multi-tool. Uh, it's got a nice nice sharp pair of scissors on it so that's what I like to use. Um, they worked out great you definitely need an exacto knife or something sharp to to use see so I had to cut around this bottom um, it just I guess the one version controller may be a little bit smaller than the 360 version so you can see all the holes and everything like that um, you still line them up just like you would on the 360 these holes you would line up with the seam of the controller um, it still wraps around. Um, the easiest way I find is to peel it off from these little three indentions rather than uh, anywhere else. Uh, and I've done so many screen protectors on phones and stuff that I try to peel it back and not touch the adhesive. Try not to touch the adhesive at all. You don't want any oils to ruin it. Um, but uh, I feel like this is the easiest way. So. I take the top part and line it up right next to the trigger just like it did on the uh, other side and what it did on the 360. So using the holes to line up the seam, use that top part to line up to the trigger and uh, try to push on it gently. That way you can um, move it if you have to. Once you start pushing on it firm, it'll... Uh, it'll stick and it'll be harder to get off but just go along it slowly and uh, it'll work out just fine and just start I just rub it from up and down I know how funny that sounds but uh, just go at it slowly and it'll start to form I mean it's it's an easy piece of rubber so And then per the instructions, it said to do that middle indention first um, and then work on the left and right one. I just went ahead and went top to bottom and then worked the middle and then uh, moved the others accordingly. You might get a couple bubbles here and there just push them down like I said the more you I haven't used the controller yet so I'm sure most of these bubbles and and stuff will will kind of go away over time um, and like I said it's not a one version uh, grip they're working on them right now so they'll be out in due time give them give them some patience but uh, this is a quick workaround if you're a little impatient um, as far as the back I just push without actually peeling the white uh, backing off if you just push on the rubber and start working your way along the back side of the controller it'll basically just push that little piece of paper off and ironically I I actually got lucky I didn't run into the LED for the Dynamapper so uh, that worked out great I thought I was gonna have to notch around that but uh, it worked out fine. I ended up with a little bit more excess on this left side than I did the right side. I must have not lined them up um, equally. I mean it it all worked out in the end but uh, just use your scissors and cut off whatever little excess you have. Oh, what I did is I, I stick it on first and then peel it back and it'll kind of uh, 
the, the adhesive on the squid grip will actually kind of make a line so that you know how to cut it. And cut a little bit more on that one than I wanted to, but that's the back and everything. Like I said, this is just as this is just the quickest workaround until they get them out. I'm, I know the the ones that they come out with for the one will be great, but I was anxious to try them out. I hadn't tried them out on the 360, so I got a little impatient. Decided to go buy them. I mean, they're cheap, so why not? And then some people may just rip these suckers off and stick them on. I'm a little bit more uh, anal about it. I didn't want any oils on the back of the uh, sticker. So I did the same thing. Peel the whiting white part back and just let it stick on itself. But I mean, they're easy. Do them however you want. But there you have it. That's uh, the quickest and easiest way to get around waiting. Um, I know they're working hard. And I've seen a lot of people modify uh, their scuff controllers and stuff like that. So uh, any questions, feel free to ask. Like I said, this is MMM Bolt. Thanks for watching.